So hello everyone and today we're going to look at page 40 at the doctor's exercises 1 to 4. Are you looking at page 40? Because page 40 looks like this. Can you see? So before we begin exercise 1, let's take a look at some vocabulary. So the first word is surgery. Now surgery is a place where a doctor, dentist or vet sees patients. The doctor's surgery. It's like the doctor's office, no? The doctor's surgery. Patient. Well, a patient is a person who receives treatment in a hospital or from a specific doctor or dentist, no? Chest. Chest is the top part of the front of the body between the neck and the stomach. Shoulder is either of the two parts of the body between the top of each arm and the neck. Lift is to raise somebody or something to a higher position or level. Pull a muscle is to damage a muscle by using too much force. Heart is the organ in the chest that sends blood around the body and checkup is an examination of somebody or something, no? especially to make sure you are healthy. No? So let's revise. Surgery is la consulta del médico, no? o de, incluso del dentista o del veterinario. Patient, pues es paciente. No? Chest es el, el pecho, el tórax incluso. No? Shoulder, el hombro. Lift. No, levantar, ¿no? O sostener algo por encima, elevarlo, ¿no? Pull a muscle, es como dar un tirón en un músculo. Heart, es corazón. And check up, es revisión. So far, so good? Excellent. Well, let's have a look at exercise one. Now, it says read and listen. But before you listen, look at the picture and answer the questions. So, where do you think these people are? Well, I think these people are in a doctor's surgery. Who do you think they are? Well, I think the woman is a doctor and the man is a patient. Why do you think the man is there? Well, I think the man is there because he's not feeling very well. No, I think he has a health problem. Now, let's read and listen. Are you ready? Here we go. 40.1 Good morning. What seems to be the problem? I've got a pain in my chest. I see. When did it start? Oh, about three days ago. Can I just have a look at it? Where does it hurt? Here, in my chest, near my left shoulder. Can you lift your arm, please? Does that hurt? Yes, it does. Well, I think you've pulled a muscle. Oh, that's good. Yes, but we'd better check your heart, too. Can you make an appointment with the nurse for a checkup, please? OK. In the meantime, don't lift anything heavy and move your arm slowly. Yes. OK. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. So I think we were right. No? They are at the doctor's surgery. The woman is a doctor and the man is a patient. Now let's look at exercise two. It says read the conversation again and choose the correct answers. Let's read the sentences, shall we? So number one, the patient has come to see the doctor because A, his shoulder is swollen or B, he's got a pain in his chest. No, his shoulder is swollen, que, eh, tiene el hombro hinchado, no? inflamado, swollen, hinchado, inflamado. Or he's got a pain in his chest, no, tiene dolor en el pecho. The problem started yesterday, A, or B, three days ago. Number three, the doctor thinks A, he's pulled a muscle, no, que es un tirón de músculo, or B, he's had a heart attack, que, que ha sufrido un ataque al corazón, no, a heart attack, un infarto. 
Number four, the patient has to A, see the doctor again, or B, see the nurse for a checkup, no? A, volver a ver el médico, or B, no, eh, visitar la enfermera o el enfermero, incluso, claro, para una revisión. And number five, in the meantime, mientras tanto, in the meantime, he has to A, move his arm slowly, or B, lift heavy things, no? So he has to move his arm slowly, no? Mover el brazo lentamente, ¿no? Or lift heavy things, ¿no? Eh, levantar cosas pesadas. Now, let's read it again, but we are going to listen, ¿no? Pone aquí leerlo, pero nosotros aprovechamos y volvemos a escuchar. Are you ready? 40.1 Good morning. What seems to be the problem? I've got a pain in my chest. I see. When did it start? Oh, about three days ago. Can I just have a look at it? Where does it hurt? Here, in my chest, near my left shoulder. Can you lift your arm, please? Does that hurt? Yes, it does. Well, I think you've pulled a muscle. Oh, that's good. Yes, but we'd better check your heart, too. Can you make an appointment with the nurse for a checkup, please? Okay. In the meantime, Don't lift anything heavy and move your arms slowly. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Now remember, you can listen again if necessary. No? But let's correct, shall we? So, number one, the patient has come to see the doctor because letter B is the correct answer. He's got a pain in his chest. Number two, the problem started, again, letter B, three days ago. Number three, the doctor thinks, A, he's pulled a muscle. Number four, the patient has to, B, see the nurse for a checkup. And number five, in the meantime, he has to move his arm slowly. Now, I'd like you to practice reading the sentences. So I'm going to read the sentences, listen and repeat. Number one, the patient has come to see the doctor because he's got a pain in his chest. Repeat. Number two, the problem started three days ago. Repeat. Number three, the doctor thinks he's pulled a muscle. Repeat. Number four, the patient has to see the nurse for a checkup. Repeat. And number five, in the meantime, he has to move his arm slowly. Repeat. Okay, well done. Good work, everybody. Now, exercise three says practice the conversation. So you can use the audio to repeat the questions and answers and try to copy the rhythm. No, para practicar, aprovechamos el audio, no? Repetimos, paramos, damos alba pausa, paramos, repetimos. Intentamos copiarnos el ritmo de cada frase. Okay? And now we're going to look at exercise four complete the expressions. Are you ready? Well, everyday expressions at the doctors. Okay, so number one. Bueno, les he puesto número. En vuestro libro no tienen número, pero les he puesto número. What seems to, blah, 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 the problem. Two. When did it, blah, blah, blah. Three. Can I just, blah, 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 a look at it. Number four. Where, ta, 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 it hurt. Number five. Weed, ta, 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 check your heart. And number six. In, ta, 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 meantime. Now, find the answers in the conversation in exercise one. ¿Vale? Vamos a buscar ahora estas frases y completar los huecos. Here are the answers. Have you got some answers? ¿Tenéis respuestas? Vamos a ver. So we've got number one, what seems to be the problem. ¿No? Pues, ¿qué parece ser el problema? What seems to be the problem. ¿No? ¿Qué le pasa? ¿O qué problema tiene? ¿No? When did it start? Pues, ¿cuándo empezó? ¿No? Can I just have a look at it? ¿Puedo echarle un vistazo? Where does it hurt? 
Where does it hurt? Claro, falta el auxiliar. Where does it hurt? ¿Dónde duele o dónde te duele, no? Number five. We'd better check your heart. We'd better check your heart. ¿No? Deberíamos de mirar o comprobar el corazón. And number six, in the meantime, in the meantime, mientras tanto. Now, tenemos un asterisco ahí con el number five, ¿no? So, we'd better means we had better. So, ese apóstrofe de es la forma contraída del verbo had, ¿no? El have en pasado. We had better. Now, had better plus the verb, ¿no? Usamos el had better más el verbo sin el to, ¿no? Is used to say what somebody should do. No, so es como sinónimo del should. For example, you had better go to see the doctor. No, pues tú deberías de ir a ver el médico. You had better go to see the doctor. Now, so that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.